Hi everybody, today I'm going to do a tutorial for you showing how to get this springy, summery look. I will be using the new palette from The Balm called The, the Balm Voyage. <laughs> that is hard to say. It is a totally comprehensive palette. It's got nine eyeshadows, a highlight, a bronzer, two different blush colors, and two different cream blush or lip colors in it. The packaging is super cute. It is nice and slim. It's perfect for any trips you're going, going to be taking this uh, spring or summer. So they did send this to me to try this out and I got it on a day where I think, I don't know, I'm just like having not so great of a day, but the packaging was just so like cheerful and makes you think about all of the fun trips you've been on or are going to go on. And so if you wanna see how to get this eye look and the lips, just keep watching. Okay, before we put any eyeshadow on, we are going to curl our lashes. This is the Kevin Aquan eyelash curler, and it is quickly becoming one of my favorites. And I just squeeze a few times at the base of my lashes. I don't walk the curler out, that's just my preference. But you can walk it on out and make more of a curly lash if you want to. All right, grabbing our first color from the Balm Voyage palette, that is really hard to say. It is called Tervetuola. Tervetuola. I'm not really sure the language, but I don't think I don't think it's Italian. All right, so grabbing that on a crease brush. This is the Sigma Diffused Crease E38, and I'm just going to place that in the crease. Duh. Work in circular motions to lay it down, and windshield wiper it out. Said that probably a thousand times between all my videos. Grab a little more if needed. I knew I would love this color right when I saw it and it's definitely my favorite color in the palette. It is just a nice matte, peachy, rosy kind of brown color that I knew would be a lovely, lovely transition color, and that is exactly what it is. So feel free to be generous with this. Um, this is the color I really like to see peeking out behind or from above your crease, so don't be afraid to really lay that color down. And bring it all the way over. I definitely brought this crease over um, more into this inner corner than I usually do. All right, I like it, I love it. We are going to grab the shimmery pink color called Benvenuto. Um, really wish I knew what the languages were. I thought maybe that was Italian, but I don't think so. I believe the Italian is Bienvenu. So, Benvenuto. We are going to put that on the outer third only. Well, no, pretty much outer half. And I don't find these to be extremely pigmented, not as much as I would like at least. So I'm gonna have to really pack this on to get the level of color that I'm wanting here. I'm using a small shader brush because I'm not wanting to cover the whole lid. And they're not really pigmented, so there's not a lot of fallout. So I guess that's one plus about this. So for the inner corner and the other half of our eye, we are going to grab Bienvenu, which is what I think is Italian. I went on a cruise ship once, an Italian cruise ship, and so like all the announcements were in Italian for the most part, and visited Italy, but I, I'm kind of ashamed to not remember. So I'm wetting my brush now. Um, I'm just using this Evian facial spray, but I mean, you can use a setting spray, whatever you want to do. I'm wetting it because like I said, these just are not the level of pigment that I so desire. Um, all right, so dipping that into the Bienvenu color. That is way too wet. Do not soak your brush. 
But as you can see, it's a much more of a like high shine metallic when you wet your brush. That color or that trick kind of applies to any eyeshadow. So if you're not getting the payoff you want, just wet your brush and do this more of a packing, patting motion to lay down the color. Okay, now we are ready to grab, uh, it looks like Wilkomen, but I believe it is Wilkomen. So it's kind of a coppery middle tone brown. Grab a blending brush and just place this on the outer corner only, kind of working it into the crease a little bit. A little bit, not a lot of it. So I'm going to grab a darker color in this palette. It looks really sparkly, but it doesn't leave behind any sparkle. It's called Valcomen with a V. So just grab a tiny bit of that and really concentrate on just this outer like eighth. And when I want to keep this controlled, I always place it with that smaller brush first, and then I grab a blending brush to soften it out. Works every time. So I'm grabbing more of the pink, and I'm just kind of touching that up so we don't lose that color. All right, and before we finish up with the shadows all together. I'm going to grab a pencil brush and I'm gonna dip into that original color, the Tervetula, Tervetula. You know, things I should have looked up before I filmed this. And I am going to just run that along the lower lash line. And I am going to put some eyeliner in the waterline. I'm using Urban Decay's 24-7 um, pencil in the color Roach, and I'm just gonna work it into the waterline. Speaking of Roach, um, do you guys remember on Saved by the Bell uh, when like the cool guy actor came? His name was Johnny Montana, I think, and like, Slater and Zach like really looked up to them looked up to him until they found a roach in the bathroom and they were like You know, I just think you're a really cool guy and oh, I should ask my husband. He knows like say by the bell word for word, but <laughs> um, So yeah, every time I use that eyeliner, I think about the say by the bell episode So I'm going to put mascara on my bottom lashes before I move on to the top I'm using Maybelline's lash discovery and I love this little itty bitty brush I pretty much use this mascara for the brush, um, but it is waterproof as well, which is great for your lower lash line. Another thing I never used to do, I don't know what I was uh, doing with my life. I didn't use mascara on my bottom lashes because like, I don't know, I didn't think it mattered. I also just didn't think I needed to, but now that I do, I would never not wear it on there again. And sometimes when I've, forgotten and left the house without lower lash mascara, I mean, I'll go back and put it on. <laughs> it's that important. So we are ready to line our top lash line. And I'm using a liquid liner that I really don't love. Um, for some reason, I forget how much I don't like it and continue to use it again and again. But it's the um, L'Oreal Liner Intense. And I mean, I guess I really do like the formula. It's a nice rich black, but I don't know, something about this, it's so fluid that it's its way easier to F up. Ah, that was my mascara falling down. So we're gonna do the best we can. Um, this is a pretty thick line. I have been liking that lately, but you do not have to go as thick as I did. Plus, if you don't have as much lid space, like I, I have quite a bit of lid space, so. I can get by with a pretty thick line, but I mean, for some people, the line this thick, I mean, you wouldn't see their lid at all. So just kind of use your eye shape and use your best judgment, you know, as your mom would say. So um, I'm gonna not talk to you while I film this because I just, I just need to not talk to you. It requires a lot of concentration. for me. 
mascara. I am using a mascara I recently rediscovered. It's Maybelline's The Falsies. Aside from the lower lash mascara I just used, Maybelline's Lash Discovery, it's the only Maybelline mascara I really like. I just have never been impressed with their mascaras, but this is a good one. I do remember when this came out, it was kind of one of those hyped up mascaras, but it's, it's legit, I like it. So I'm just going to apply a generous amount of that. I like it because it's buildable, it doesn't get clumpy, um, and it's very, it makes, makes your lashes very soft. I love their Real from Benefit but it makes some hard lashes. Not that you're like touching your eyelashes all day, but I don't know, they feel kind of brittle when you have a mascara that makes them feel really hard. And this makes them feel nice and healthy. So this wand has like, I don't know, I think they call it a spoon, but it's, it's curved as you can see. And I, for the most part, push my lashes up with the underside of the curve. So when I'm all done, I do flip it around and make it more like a rainbow shape and kind of just grab those outer lashes a little more. And kind of with what's left over, I'll go over my bottom lashes one more time. All right. I would uh, call this a day. There are two different colors. They can both be used on your lips or your cheeks and or both. Um, one is called Benvindo and one is Vitaje. Um, one is much more peach. The other one is just kind of a red um, berry color. So we are going to use the peach color since that's kind of the look we are going with. I am going to dip a brush in here just to keep this sanitary. They were really smart with the packaging though. So this little flap protects these guys and the shadows have their own flap. That is super smart. So many times when there's cream products right alongside powder ones, they get gross. So. I love how truly peach this is. Kind of melon color. Just very springy. And these smell good. They are not drying. And their pigment is nice. All right, so I have applied my lip color. I am wearing blush and highlighter from this palette. Um, the blush is the peachy toned blush right here, which is called Huan Ying. And the highlight, there's just one highlight in here. Um, I don't think it is their Mary Luminizer, but very similar. As you can see, it's just a really pretty champagne highlight. Um, the name, bear with me here. Kuwakarabisha. Uh, I mean, I think that's how you say it. Um, so yeah, we made good use of this palette. Uh, we used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight products out of here. So this would be excellent for travel. We pretty much did a full face look with just the Balm Voyage palette. And although the shadows don't have amazing pigmentation, I, I do wish some of them were better. My favorite one, Terva Tuola, is probably the most pigmented in there, which is great um, because I will use that one a lot. The others are just a little lacking in pigment, um, but I love how well-rounded this is. The packaging just is exciting. It makes me smile. It has all these different destinations on there. Um, let's see how many I've actually been to. Haven't been to Cuba, been to Chicago a lot. Um, the lakes of Italy, I mean, I've been to Italy. I've been to Bari and really briefly Venice. Um, the Amazon River, no. Sicily, I did not visit Sicily. Costa Rica, no. Japan, no. Um, Cortina di Ampezzo, I don't know what that is. And Greece, oh my gosh. Yes, I've been to Greece. Best place I've ever visited. Absolutely gorgeous. If you have a chance to get to Greece, please go. I went to Mykonos, Santorini, Catacolon, um, and Rhodes. So absolutely gorgeous. Would love to go back and see Athens and more of the Greek islands. So um, yeah, Greece, awesome. Plus, uh, funny story <laughs> about all things Greek. So I am asked 
quite a bit what my ethnicity is and you know that I know of it's it's not the ethnicities I'm getting asked about Greek is one that I get asked more than anything well, I know there's something where you actually send in like a cheek swap and then they can tell you your genetic makeup from there I would love to do that and get some answers um so far though all I've ever been told is like uh, German, Irish, and I feel like I don't look or identify with that at all. Swedish, once again, I'm not really getting asked if I'm Swedish ever. Um, yeah, so maybe comment down below what you think I am, because <laughs> I don't know, but it's definitely not the ethnicities that are in my family. So I like to joke that my mom had like a Mediterranean affair, because affairs are hilarious. <laughs> gosh thank you guys so much for watching comment down below if you have any questions or maybe if you've tried this out and you have some thoughts on it as well i would love to hear them and i will see you in my next video bye